Arthur is a, a businessman. He's into oil and gas. He's 74 years of age. He said something that struck Peter Obi, Labour Party presidential candidate. It struck a chord. In fact, Peter Obi had to respond to Arthur Eze. Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv. Welcome once again. If you are new here, please tap on the subscription button and like and share this video so YouTube can recommend this to more people. Author Easy. He said that he did not get help in the southeast. He said he got help in the north of Nigeria. He was a man, a young man who knew nobody. But doors opened to him in the north of Nigeria. And ever since then, Arthur Eze said he has been swimming in endless wealth, endless money. Now, what does that mean? If a man like this speaks, it resonates. It penetrates into the psyche, into the eardrums of a lot of people. We live in a different time. And money speaks. When money speaks, poverty, bullshit, every other thing. In fact, common sense. What will, it, what will happen to it? It will walk away. Well, as it is right now, author Eze, he said what anyone can say, but there is a point you get to in life, you have to be conscious of your words. But this is his opinion. As you all know, former governor of Anambra State, presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has been on the news. It's either people are in support of him or is being criticized or condemned. Vitu reparations and a lot of hit down, pull down, push down has been on yesterday. An Umbra born business billionaire, Prince Arthur Eze, condemned Peter Obi's ambition of becoming next president. Every Southeasterner that is um, luminous, I mean, people who are rich or are high up there in politics, say Peter Obi should shut up, sit down, don't waste our time, don't waste people's life, you cannot become president. You know, when people say you cannot become and you prove them wrong, they end up saying, well, you have shown to us that you're a man, you have shown to us that you can make it, you can do it. In fact, what we said then was not to dissuade you, but we were indirectly persuading you, pushing you to achieve what we believe you cannot what we believe that you can achieve, but we couldn't say to you directly. They could come up with that. And it could also be that these businessmen like Arthur Eze, Governor of Anambra State, and many other people, they have seen the kind of politics that is being run in Nigeria. These are not dumb people. They've seen it. Although most of us, we often want to hang all our expectation on, is it God? God will do it. There are certain things that God will not put his hands into. We'll be looking at you to play it and see the result for yourself. Author Eze condemned Peter Obi's ambition of becoming next president of Nigeria. Eze, while speaking at the occasion of the 2022 Ofala Festival of um, HRH Igwe Dr. Robert Eze, the traditional ruler of Ukwo in Dunukofia, Dunu local governor area of the state, opined that he warned Obi. He said, I called Obi. I told Obi, drop this your presidential ambition, but he would not listen. He noted that he advised Obi to wait for next time after, you know, this eight years passes away. Then we Eagles will be mature enough, would have built confidence to push to become president of Nigeria. As you all know, politics in Nigeria is, is shaped in a certain direction way um, that, uh, you know, that's how it rolls. There are people of, who have vested interest in selling things in Nigeria. They do not want someone that will disrupt it. And they don't want to give you power as president. That's it. If they give you power as president, you can do and undo. They know what you can do. So, 
um I, I do understand that part of it but then if people say you cannot you cannot you cannot and you keep accepting that you cannot you will never ever in any way achieve anything in life so i'm not going to say people be back down they say you cannot make it you cannot become president go for another time if your mind tells you you can prepare yourself and you can get yourself ready to move move you know oftentimes some people will say before you go into a fight, make sure that you have checked your opposition. Make sure that you have checked your arsenal. Make sure that you are ready to push. Make sure that you can win that fight. At least, if you lose, you know that you prepared and you will learn if you are still alive. Maybe that's the advice that has been given to Peter Obi. But saying, I want Peter Obi to withdraw from this race, but he will not listen. I told him plainly, I am not part of his plans. I told him to drop his ambition and wait for next time. When he told me about his ambition, I asked him, the states he thinks he can win in the west and in the north. This is true. The vice president of Peter Obi cannot easily get votes in many of the northern states. Let us be clear about it. Peter Obi cannot easily get votes in the southwest of Nigeria. That is the reality. Forget online presence. Let us look at the reality on ground. It will be difficult for Peter Obi to win in the Southwest. Most of the people you see are online, keyboard, warrior, and etc. When it comes to voting, it is what you put in there and that successfully, that can be successfully collated, that is what counts. And these politicians... These people that want to be president, that have been there, they understand these things. They know how it works and they will be pushing for that. Well, we'll see how all of this will turn out to be. Now, the question that has been asked is good that we ask questions and we deal with it. Most people will just speak without common sense. If someone asks you, which of the states are you going to win? Face reality. Don't say eh, God will do it. That God will just one day enter into the minds of 90% of the people in the south of Nigeria and will say enough is enough. We want Peter Obi. Until these people come to that consciousness. In fact, they do not even trust Peter Obi too. Because these people come and talk like they are saints. And when they get in there, what they do, what they will do will shock you. So he said, I asked him, where, what will you win in the west and in the north? He told me, but I was not convinced. I told him he cannot win. So do not waste our time. Do not ask us to support you. That is coming from author Eze. And uh, Peter Obi responded. Um, he said that this type of people like Chief Author Eze is part of the establishment and structure that young Nigerians want to take out. We want to take it, take these people down, take them out so we can get back our country from them. This is coming from um, Peter Obi. said this type of people we need to take power from them. It is the influence of people like that we want to take our politics from. It is part of the establishment and structure that young Nigerians want to take our country back from. When we take power from the People's Democratic Party and All Progressive Congress, the likes of Arthur Eze will no longer wield the kind of influence they enjoy today. You don't expect them to take this lying down. Our candidate and our campaign remain focused on the take ahead, which is to take back our country, rebuild it, to make it take its proper place in the committee of nations. Now, yes, author is part of the establishment. He grew up in a system where things like that, you know, favored him. He got to where he is. But calling names of party, you know, although Labour Party, they've, you know, bragged, they said that their party is the only party that has not been no that has not been soiled with corruption and t terrible but you know how it is it's because liberal party did not have upper hand if liberal party had had upper hand 90 percent of these politicians are criminals apc pdp whatever party is simply a vehicle calling names of party although we have to be distinctive here yeah? we have to call name of party as it is important right now all of these people are the same thing apc is not different from pdp that's the truth and that's the reality. So, um, calling names of party is, um, of course, just to distinguish um, certain criminal elements who are in this party 
In fact, 99% of them that are in that party, they are there to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Now, Nigerians are waiting to gamble to find out if Labour Party, Peter Obi, will be the continuation of stealing, killing, and destruction. Don't forget that whatever Peter Obi does, there's nothing anyone can do about it. If he comes and says, I did not take it, I took, put it there. So what do you people want me to do? He cannot be arrested by EFCC. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Why am I saying this? Let us open our eyes. If you want breakup of Nigeria, focus on that. If you want to fool Peter Obi, Bola Tunumbu, Atiku, Shawara, the rest of them, just bear in mind that your action at the end of the day will determine, you know, the action that you take will determine how things will be for you in years to come. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.